Hello and welcome friends. Today we will talk about lecture 5 part 1 in which we will discuss about different types of horticulture crops. So let's start today's lecture. First of all, the horticulture crops are classified on the basis of life cycle. That what kind of life cycle a particular crop is spending. So on the basis of life cycle, horticultural crops are classified into three different classes. First one is annual plants. Annual plants are those plants that complete their life cycle in one year, which means that they germinate, grow, bear fruits and die in one year. So they do all these uh, processes in one year. A, a variety of uh, vegetables and fruits are uh, included in this uh, category. For example, cucumber, watermelon, lettuce, etc. The next category is the biennials. Biennials are those plants that complete their life cycle in two years. In the first year, they germinate, develop a root system, stem and leaves. And in the second year, they produce flowers and fruits. For example, um, the most important example are onions and garlics, etc. So biennials are those plants that complete their life cycle in two years. In the first year, they germinate and develop a root system, stem and leaves. And in the second year, they flower and produce fruits. The next category is the perennial. The perennials are those plants that complete their life cycle in more than two years. Once the, the perennial plant, once they grow, they start to bear flowers, produce fruits and seed. But they do not die after bearing fruits, but renew their pots season after season. For example, banana, mango. So perennials are those plants that live their life cycle with more than two years. So these are the different types of plants on the basis of life cycle. The next class of horticultural crops is classified on the basis of leaf shedding, that whether a specific plant shed leaves or not. So these are grouped into two classes. Number first one is the evergreen plants. Evergreen plants are those plants which maintains the green leaves present uh, throughout the year. So these plants have the green leaves throughout the year. So these are known as evergreen plants, for example, citrus, mango, papaya, coconut. And you can observe this phenomenon very easily in everyday life. You can see many plants which retain their green leaves throughout the years. Next one is the deciduous plants. The deciduous plants are those plants which sheds all the leaves present once in a year. So these plants are those plants which shed all their leaves once in a year. For example, apple, pear, and peach, etc. And this phenomena can be easily seen in the season of autumn in which these mentioned plants shed all their leaves. You can see in the figure, this is a deciduous plants which shed all their leaves and this is the evergreen plant which retain the green leaves throughout the year. So these are the classification based on the shedding of leaves. The next one is the classification based on the season that which crop is cultivated on a particular season. So these are classified into three classes. The first one is the hurry crops. It is also known as the monsoon crops because this is cultivated in the monsoon season. The word harib comes from Arabic word which means autumn. It can also mean summer. These crops are sown when the onset of monsoon in the month of June and July and are harvested in the month of October. For example, okra, pumpkin. So the harib season start from monsoon in June, July and end in the October. The next one is the rabi crops. The rabi word uh, comes from Arabic words, which means spring. These crops are sown in October and November and are harvested in spring. So these are all because it is harvested in spring. It is known as rabi crops. 
these crops are cultivated mainly through irrigation water because the monsoon season is already end for example potato cabbage and cauliflower so the rabi crops are those crops which are cultivated in october and november and harvested in spring then the last one is the zaid crops the term zaid is derived from arabic words which means to prosper the zaid season is the short season between harib and rabi season in the month of february march to june so these uh, these uh, rabi crops are sown in february march and harvested in june so this is a short season between harib and rabi season the rabi crops also grow on irrigated lands and it depend on the irrigation water for example bitter gourd watermelon and cucumber so this is the classification of horticulture crops based on the season the next class of horticulture crops is classified based on the climatic requirement of a specific crop based on the climatic requirement the horticulture crops are classified into the following three classes the first one is the temperate crops the temperate crops are cultivated in the temperate region the climate in the temperate region is without extremes of temperature and precipitation that it means that the temperature is not very low and not high also the precipitation is not very abundant the horticulture crops flourish well in the temperate region because it likes the climate there and during the winter they go under dormancy and shed their leaves for example pear plums and peaches etc the next class is the tropical crops the tropic the climate of the tropical region has hot and humid weather with abundant of rainfall so here the weather is very hot and the humidity is also high and the rainfall is very abundant these plants needs warm and humid climate as these plant cannot with, withstand the cold weather as these plants like the warm and humid condition because these plants cannot withstand the cold weather for example pineapple papaya and coconuts the next one is the subtropical crops the subtropical crops are cultivated in the subtropical region the subtropical region has the climate which which is very hot humid summers and cool to mild winters so the subtropical region have a hot humid summers and cool to mild winters these plants require warm and humid climate and can also tolerate low temperatures these plants love the warm and humid condition and also they can tolerate the temperature the low temperature also for example mango citrus grapes etc so this is the classification of horticulture crops based on the climatic requirement so this is all about the uh, part 1 lecture uh, of lecture 5 in which we discuss different horticulture cl crops classification